What's up, everybody? Big Rich back. I know I have not done a video in fuck, a minute. It's been a while. I've been busy with life. You know, I want to talk about addiction. Something's been near and dear to my heart. Yeah, I was a meth addict for years. Nine years. <laughs> I never thought that I could have my life without dope. I used to always say, I'll do dope till the day I die. Well, it about fucking killed me. It about ruined my life. Until I met an angel. And I married her. My lovely wife, Sarah. She gave me the inspiration to get a better life. To keep fighting. To keep living. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't have this nice little scar right here. Because I didn't want to have a heart surgery. I was like, if I die, I die. Fuck it. It's God's will. That was me being a dumbass. But fighting addiction is not easy. Getting off it is not easy. You know, I tried for the longest time to get past it. Sorry, guys. Cooking breakfast. Keto style. That's another thing. Keto diet. Good shit. It's been helping me. You know, realizing that there's something more than that dope game, that drug life. You know, that's a hard thing to realize. Yeah, you know, I wasn't some nickel and bag that person, you know. I saw weight. I had lots of dope on me, lots of drugs, everything. I had lots of illegal shit. You know, to the point where I'm at now, I went through, because my kids been doing good, Nintendo Switch. Got that for my boys. 3DS for my daughter. I've had this one for a little bit, but PS4. I love gaming. So I'm all kids. My kids, everything. Love, they all love the video game and everything. Before, I never would have had the money to spend like that to buy the shit that I like like this. Here in the next week or so, I'm buying myself my first gun legally. And it feels great. To have everything I have and not have to worry about some cops busting in my goddamn door to take everything away from me. Or getting arrested and losing it all. Worrying about where I'm going to stay at tonight. Hmm. Do I got enough money to fucking get more dope? Do I got enough money to fucking pay off people so they leave me the fuck alone? I don't got to worry about shit no more. I work a lot. You know, I work down at the Eagles right now to cook. I love it. I enjoy cooking. I'm damn good at it, too. And no, not cooking dope. I'm talking about cooking food. Even though my food is dope. <laughs> Get it? Dad joke. <laughs> so, learning to enjoy life without the drugs, without the other stuff. You know, it's hard, but it is possible. When I went to rehab... I learned one major thing that helped me realize what I needed to do. And it was this. When you're using drugs, alcohol, or any other addictive behaviors or substances, you're trying to fill a need. Something inside of you is missing. Finding that need that you're filling and being able to fill it with something else is the way to do it. Me, I didn't know how to love and let people love me. I didn't think I was worthy of it. I didn't think, I thought anyone told me they love me, all they want is something from me. They're trying to use me for something. Because that's what I got used to because of my mom. And I, once I let people love me for me, my life got better. I now have a healthy relationship, a damn good relationship with my kids. In the middle of fighting for custody of my youngest son. My life is so much better without the dope. So much peaceful without the dope. 
I don't got to worry about tweakers coming over to my house at like 2 o'clock in the morning. Attracting the neighbors. Neighbors calling the cops. Fucking. I don't have to worry about that no more. So. Stay clean. Stay safe. Have a good night.